It was the sound itself that pulled me into this direction. Le letting my intuition guide me and then using my analytical part to figure out what my intuition wanted, wh wh where it was trying to take me. So I've been trying to follow my, follow my oral nose, you know, follow my intuition uh, through understanding. So the impact of Mingus on me, and, and Charles Mingus, the great bass player, and uh, and Hendrix as you know, as a teenager, hearing the, both the expressive power of this kind of expanded language, it, it, it really it really touched me. It sort of gave me the green light. Starting to hear the music, and, and you start listening to your environment uh, uh, in detail. You start hearing things in frequencies, and, and you start hearing the ambient sounds. I mean, part of the the joy of playing and discovering is that there's an energetic aspect of playing, a kinesthetic pleasure of playing a lot of these techniques these sounds, the joy of actually playing them propels you. Because we've had access to so much music for via the record player and then the CD player, I mean, we have the world at our fingertips. And that's obviously been really influential, changes the way you hear. When I started working in drumless bands, in fact, where I found myself in the environment where a lot of the, the sonic stuff could be heard. You know, coming from a, a generation of, of, of musicians, performer, composers, you know, everyone in New York, when, when I was living in New York, well, everyone composed and everyone was interested in developing, you know, a personal sound and doing some music together. And so through this, you know, having the, the, the both the, the desire to find something new and to put together a new group and, and having the deadline of a concert and, and having the, the, the pressure and the hope that this could, you could take, that this music would be enjoyed, you could take it on tour and sort of, you had these opportunities, but it was, it was really based on working with these gifted, ambitious, hungry, and, uh, you know, serious musicians who had, you know, similar appetites to, you know, kick it up. In the end of the day, you just have to make it work. In fact, they're really, the, 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 it's the same thing when you interpret a score. You have, you have an, a code, uh, a score of some sort, and, and you, have, you have to interpret it. You have to sell the piece. You have to make that thing come alive.